All right, y'all. I'm going to see. It's my crew. We'll probably go down. And by the way, I hear Shep is pretty salty about it. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hopefully Audrey get the credit she deserves this time. Mm -hmm. I mean, she said that Shep ghosted after she made the shirts. <laughs> Wouldn't even help pro promote the brand at all. I mean, it figures. Has he ever done the right thing once? Like, ever? No. Not that I'm aware of, no. So, Mila and I have been discussing next steps. Now that you've got your outfit together, it's time to wear it to one of your pre-game tunnel walks. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna make sure that Nicole Ramon from Teed Up is there to ask you questions about it. Yep. And then all you have to do is talk about how awesome Audrey Louise Reynolds is. Okay. And how your incredibly sophisticated and stylish girlfriend put you under her. <laughs> I set it up then. Ashley's on it. All you have to do is show up looking fly. I can do that. Yes, you can. Hey, bruh. I didn't know I had a visible girlfriend, bro. Hey, MP, do you have a few extra minutes? I have something I could really use your help on. Win 30 NBA games in one single day, boy. What the hell? Ain't no way. You were great. All right, bro. Season three, the the, the whole area looks nice. You know, see, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. online about you too it seems you've gone viral of late yeah well you know I'm, I'm a man of many talents clearly <laughs> so where did this new look come from well it's actually uh audrey louise reynolds you know she designed the mp show you've probably seen everyone rocking yes but she also helped me track down some unique pieces to take my style to the next level okay well where did this newfound interest in fashion come from Hold on, Nicole. This is nothing new at all. You know, I've always loved being able to express myself through what I wear, as you can see. Yes. Um, but as I continue to find more success on the court, I'm looking for new avenues and arenas I can take my talent into. So you plan on having success in the fashion world as well? <laughs> plan on? I mean, literally look at what everyone's wearing in the streets right now. I mean, <sighs> I think I'm having success. And I get to have a talented designer like Audrey Louise Reynolds along for the ride. Because she's got something that cannot be replicated. And that's what I'm all about, at least. So that's a win-win right there for me. I believe they call it synergy in the brand building business. Yes, they do. Synergy. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, MP. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate you. All right, bro.
Then we lost Chloe Leach. Hey, die in my, die in my shot. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries break begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become worse. Yeah. Happens every season. Look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Jackson Jr. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Clark in at the five. Morant kicks to Brooks. Memphis moving it around. Yeah. Down to five on the shot clock. From the arc. That one doesn't go. Now the Suns take it the other way. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Grizzlies. Yeah, and they're hoping for a better showing against this club this season. Last year they came out on the losing. And the nice assist from Morant. The ability to finish with either hand makes Brooks a dangerous score around the bucket. Kobe. After his sensational rookie season, Kevin Durant. People knew that John Morant <laughs> had an unlimited ceiling. Kevin, now we know he's not just high. Yeah. We could, Kevin, be looking at an all-time great. Just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Outside Jackson. Yeah. Hey, yo, right Morant against Paul. Hey, yo, outside for Jackson. Four on the shot clock. Back to Morant. It's hauled in by the Suns. Give me that. You expect yes, sir. him to make that, especially from that distance. And here's MP for three. Traps in the trade. MP's got 12 in the game. All these threes, they're going to have really been the bucket. driving force on this run. Morant surveying the D. Brooks from outside. Off. Gets it to go from what beyond the arc. The He's got five. When you're hit, you got to hit back. And you know he was going to try to respond. Those threes canceled each other Yum. perfectly. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like yeah. it's going in. Grizzlies have gone yeah. two for four from the field so far today. With the Try to break the action, yeah. he'll toss a chance to go ahead, to boy. send it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Coach Taylor Jenkins gave me a few break. minutes to catch up. Thank this you. is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. Wow. He feels their success on that end will dictate their success <laughs> through the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive from early on. All right, David, we'll see if their strategy will pay off. <laughs> considering their efforts now on generating points. Yeah, and I can understand mm -hmm. what they're trying to do mm -hmm. here. Come out of the gates with some heat. And it forces your opponent's best scores to expend energy at the defensive end. Makes the strategy a win-win. Well, Greg, with this Memphis Grizzlies team, you like how young and how hungry yeah. they are. It's very appealing. And these players have bought into the system. This is a selfless group that knows each other's strengths, and it's why they've Dookie. seen so much Thank success you. here of late. No one on him. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. A nice shot by MP. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the trip. I wonder if they can actually get an endorsement deal. That would be nice. Here's Brooks. That one's off. Still out of sync. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is. Yeah, so I was ready. Wasted no time. Yeah, he was ready for that though. MP's yeah. Charlotte's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Johnson comes in for Crowder. Mikael Bridges mm -hmm. checked in for Booker. Mm -hmm. And it's Payne in for Paul. Mm -hmm. Now here's Jones. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Tillman's shot is off. Mm -hmm. Phoenix leading by 18. 
And here's MP for three. Another three for Phoenix. Yes, sir. Offensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Memphis has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's guarded by Johnson. Mm -hmm. Back to Jones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plays it up and banks it in. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. The three from MP. Oh, I love the he's done that ten times tonight, and he's only needed 11 shots to get there. About seven seconds separating the mm -hmm. shot in place. Mm -hmm. Bridges with the steal. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Bridges leading the charge. Offensive rebound, and he comes up with the deuce. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Jones in the post. Williams for three. Him off. The shot misses. And so it's the Phoenix Sun finishing the back to the second quarter of action plenty of basketball left to play but this one has been one-sided so far and guys let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for phoenix they came out firing from deep it's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high and it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks so on the floor for memphis the wingmen are being yeah. Andy Clark is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Wizards was terrific. He scored an incredible number of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Tremendous victory. <laughs> I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Here's Jones. Almost, but it rolls out. Oh, yeah. And here's Sharks. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Well, many thought the Suns would let Aiden walk as a restricted free agent. But they had no hesitation in matching the yes, sir. to bring him back. It looks like he'll be a son for the foreseeable future. As a distributor, Paul is just a machine. He's constantly creating for his guys. Here's Clark following the score by Phoenix. Pass to Jackson. Over Shoreditch, Jackson misses. Trying to take advantage of soft defense, he might have gotten over eager. The three from MP. Connects yeah. For instance, he's really sniping him from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Brooks with it. Now guarded by Charlotte and the dunk by Jackson. Assistant. This is a big target coming off the pick and roll. Jaren's lethal in this set. Paul passes to MP. Body this man. Body him. Body this man. Two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. <coughs> and the shot goes in. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Yeah. Jones, the pass to Jackson. Goofy R. Jackson. P.R. Jackson. Back to Jones. Brooks outside. Bain kicks to Brooks. Hudson. A three-pointer off the mark. Phoenix has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. And here's MP for three. Another three. LeBron. <laughs> 151 left now here in the second. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. 
Jones the pass to Bain. Mm -hmm. And this league has plenty mm -hmm. of guys who can take over a game at any time. But, Steve, how fun is it to have a team with multiple threats and on any given night? Well, it's really yes, sir. Kind of unfair because you have two guys that can get it going. And for the defense and the other team, that is hard to contend with. And here's Jones after the three-pointer from MP. A floater, and there's the bucket as Jones finishes it off. Jones has got his second basket. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim. Just land it yes, over sir. the top. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence, and he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. And he can't answer back yeah. the three-pointer offline. Suns have gotten on a roll and just kept going here in the second quarter. Eight of eight. Wow. MP shot Got him. good. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Memphis has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Ball against Jones. Jackson sent the pick here for Bain. Off target from three point range. You. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And here's MP for three. Another three Down. to Phoenix. Simply one of the best shooting performances you are ever going to see. A, a three-point barrage. Outside, Jones to the middle. Here's Jackson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jackson's got six here in this quarter. He can beat you from the outside and the inside. Jaron Jackson's versatility and his... And so it's the Phoenix Sun with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching him today. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We'll return shortly. They've got the defense seeing double. Quick ball movement. Def and let's move to some... Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at MP in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman. Yeah. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. Paul and Booker, the Damn. talented backcourt pair. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. And it's MP in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. A there we go. From MP. A three. Carries it from three-point range. MP's got 59 points. And so here's Memphis. And talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. It is hard to forget yeah. the crazy draft night for Bridges in 2018. Drafted 10th by his hometown Sixers, out here. his mom was an employee with the team. But he was traded an hour later Our to sis. Phoenix. He says, it was tough, but once I came here, I loved Kobe. it. The group of guys we had, I knew I wanted to be here. And they are sure glad they got it, Kevin. They are indeed, no doubt. DA, thank you. In just four seasons, Phoenix Greg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable story. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Tillman comes in for Clark, and it's Williams in for Dylan Brooks. The Grizzlies with another miss. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. The three from MP. Nail from three-point <coughs> man. MP's got nine points now in just the second half. Mm -mm. Morant against Paul. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Morant passes to Jackson. Shoots over Crowder. Jackson misses. Yep. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Basket good. And come 
even out of halftime, coach said they wanted to start fast. How's four for four? For Memphis, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Oh, give it that. Morant drives in. Williams with a clean look. Good and a nice Boy, assist what from Morant. <laughs> Morant got three assists tonight. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. Morant passes to Bain. On the wing, Jackson. Five on the clock. Over to the wing. Morant, that's for two. Rebound by the Suns. MP's got 11 rebounds in the game. Hey, Craig, talking about the great job. Oh, my miss time is this so bad. is just flat out yeah. fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. And here are the Suns now. They're on a 14 to 3 run. Crowder kicks to MP. Hooker the pass to MP. There you go. And again for three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. Mm -hmm. Ball against mm -hmm. Morant. <coughs> One ten left in the third. The Grizzlies with another miss. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And this rhythm has been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Outside Jackson from deep. And another miss by Memphis. Trying to get his man back for the last three. It helps to not make this personal. And here's MP for three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. There's the pass to Jackson. Shoots over Crowder. The Grizzlies with another miss. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot yes, of sir. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Here's Morant. And he gets the whistle. <laughs> Two free throws. This ball. Personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for us. Well, now, now much he was like that points now. Andrew Shamit comes in for Mikel Bridges. Tillman, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. MP, no good. And I can't shoot that far. As good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. So the Grizzlies five right now. They've got Jones. He's out there with Morant. Lee out there with Clark. And it's Tillman in at the four. Morant with it. Working out. Phoenix foul. Cameron Payne. Third personal foul. Shooting from Memphis. In close where he's fearless. All free throws. Good from Morant. 27 seconds left in the game. A three from MP. That one, no good. And so it's Jeez. Williams who brings it up for the Grizzlies. Pass to Morant. Nice move. Oh. <laughs> Damn. As creative as they come, John Morant has a style that's specifically his. Marries the long range jumper. I don't know why, but jumps are so fast. Anybody else out there. Right now. So it's the Suns Bro. running easily here. Your Suns. One plus. The Grizzlies. 53. Thank you again for coming out and cheering your keys on. Make sure to get home safely. Let's go.
Congratulations, you have now the ability to core. Okay. Peace.